So today we're gonna make some turkey breakfast burritos. And the first thing we're gonna do is dice up some onions. All right. So I got my skillet on the stove on medium heat. And once I get these diced, I will add them with some olive oil to my skillet to get them sauteing. I'm using a half of an onion. Um, you'd use however much you want or you don't have to use any onion. Some olive oil in here. I'm not measuring because however much you make, you're going to have different measurements. Everything is like the taste, you know. If you're doing just a teeny bit of onion, you wouldn't need as much oil. If you're doing more onion and a bigger skillet, then you'd need more oil. So just put a little bit of salt and pepper in there. We'll let those, we'll just let those saute while we get our next step ready. If you don't have uh, potatoes, because you couldn't get any, you're out, or you don't want to go to the store, or whatever. I like to keep frozen potatoes on hand. Hash browns. These are, what are these? Tater tots. These are actually potato puffs. Whatever. Keep these on hand so that if I don't have fresh potatoes, I can just grab some out of the freezer. And then I'm just going to try to cut these in half, you know, into little pieces. And then I'll put those in there with the onions once they're sautéed. So I'm going to go ahead and get these all cut up in little pieces. After you've got your potatoes all chopped up in little pieces, set those aside. And then we're going to add a little bit of bacon. Uh, we like to buy it uh, pre-cooked and frozen for a few reasons. It's less messy. We actually eat less because we only take out a couple of slices at a time. Um, just stir in those onions. Anyway, so we only take out a couple pieces at a time, and so we're not eating a pound of bacon every time we have bacon. And so I feel like even though it's more expensive to buy the frozen pre-cooked, it's cheaper for us because we don't waste as much bacon just by eating it because it's there. And so this, I'm just going to cut this up in tiny little pieces. This is mainly just for a little extra flavor and a little extra protein in our burritos. So we'll go ahead and get all this just diced up real quick. It's, I noticed that a lot of people during what's happening are stocking up on, you know, huge bags of flour and um, sugar and things like that. But that was never anything I wanted to run by. Um, I don't think I bought any sugar, actually. <laughs> but I, we stockpile, like, protein. Like this frozen bacon, I noticed I only have a little bit left. So if I have to go out for any supplies, I will be getting another pack of bacon just because it's something that we use often. Like people use bread, we use protein. And so we have plenty of meat. It's just like I don't need to go to the store for anything. But if I did have to run to the store, I'd probably make sure I picked up a package of this bacon. All right, once I get it all chopped up, I'm going to go ahead and add that to the onions which they are sautéing quite nicely. So I did like a half of a medium onion. And then I'll go ahead and add that bacon in there. And then I have about a half a cup of the turkey that was chopped up already. Actually, there's a couple pieces that aren't super chopped up. I'm going to go ahead and cut those smaller real quick. All right, now I'm just going to add the turkey in there. I think I'm going to actually add some green pepper, um, which is another item that we buy. These, this onion I did fresh because I do have some fresh onion. But if I got a surplus of onion, like a really good deal, you know, they don't last forever. So what I'll do is I will dice them up and freeze them. And in a freezer bag that my whole, onion, my whole freezer doesn't smell like onion. I do the same thing with bell peppers. If I get a bunch on a really good cell, I'll dice those up and freeze them because they don't last forever fresh. So let me grab those out the freezer. 
So there's my peppers. They look really good. If you're going to eat them fresh, they're not good to freeze. But if you're going to cook them, you could definitely freeze them and they cook up just delicious. So I'm going to add just a few of these in here. I think that'll make these burritos even yummier. Get a little bit more. There we go. And we'll save the rest of those. Stick those back in the freezer. And just stir that in. And let it keep. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It's amazing how many things you could do with turkey. I think a lot of people see turkey, especially when you see like a giant bird turkey, and you think huge family dinner, one meal, maybe you can have a couple turkey sandwiches the next day, and that's it. But we get a giant turkey and we think, what are we going to do with all this meat? Because there's just three of us. And so I set out to see how much I could actually make. And every day I'm amazed. Like, oh my gosh, this would be amazing. We could do this. So make sure you turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of these amazing recipes. Because some of them are pretty amazing. Even Coco was like, what? And she tasted it and she's like, this is so good. There's been a couple that weren't our favorite and we will rate them when we're completely finished. But definitely, if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe because we're going to show you so many things you can do with just the stuff around your house. You don't have to go out and buy extra stuff. Or if there's a sale, definitely stock up. And you don't have to worry about it going bad because you can cut it up and freeze it. So I spray some Pam. In the pan where I'm going to cook my eggs. All right, I got about six eggs in here. And I'm going to add some cream. Some heavy whipping cream. You can use whatever brand you want, but we're using Winko brand today. And then we're just going to whip those up. How much cream do you add? Well, I add it however much I need. I don't know. It's hard because this, this is the hard thing about teaching somebody how to make something if you don't measure. Um, I add enough cream till it's not slimy. That's how the only way I can describe it, but <clears throat> I guess it's trial and error. I feel like it makes the eggs more fluffy. You don't have to add cream at all. I'm gonna add just a little bit more. You could add milk. Some people add milk, but I add the cream just because it has less carbs than milk and it's not because I'm counting carbs but Cody does and so if I add cream to the eggs then she doesn't have to count any carbs for that for the eggs she eats if I add milk then she's got to count those in and give more insulin so it's easier just to do that so I'm just gonna go ahead and pour the eggs in the pan we'll let those start to cook I like get this in the sink and clean up that mess where I spilled it. All right. Well, those are starting to cook. We're going to go ahead and add the potatoes to this mixture so they can start to get warm. Because we did take them from the freezer. And I'll go ahead and turn the heat back up on those just a little bit. So this is a lot. This is going to make more than like three burritos. But most people... I guess if you had a giant tortilla, it would probably make three big burritos, which would be fine. Plenty would be fine. But we don't have giant tortillas because we just buy the ones that are a dollar. <laughs> and so, probably make, you know, two or three little breakfast burritos for each of us. Or if there's leftover, I'll just put it in the fridge and we can have it tomorrow or for a snack. You could eat it just like this. It doesn't have to be in a tortilla. Coco probably will not eat it in a tortilla. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see what the morning brings. She's not up yet. It's getting good. Oh my gosh. All right, so let's see how these eggs. Oh, there we go. They're happening. It's happening. And you just kind of pull it in and just keep pulling it in until it's completely cooked. Depending on how small you want your pieces, you could chop it up a little. I like when Annie made that video for St. Patrick's Day and it was her first time doing eggs. And when she was 
watching me um, pull the eggs in and scramble them. She's like, it's happening. <laughs> uh, it's happening. They're scrambling. All right, I'm going to grab my tortillas and cheese and we'll put these together. All right, it should be almost done. I got my tortillas ready. I know there's some people who would eat it just like this, but we like our eggs a little more well done. I believe this is called like a soft scramble. All right, let's get our tortillas ready. All right, so I'd like to put a little cheese in there. Well, that's actually a lot, but it's fine. All right, and then we're gonna add some of this mixture with the peppers and onions and turkey and potatoes. And then we'll add a little bit of our egg mixture on there. And then we're gonna wrap that up. If you had a bigger tortilla, obviously you'd just fill it, have her full, and have one. But since we just have these tiny ones, we're just gonna make probably two or three, and we'll have breakfast. Yummy, yummy. Turkey bacon breakfast burritos. All right. So we got one more yummy, yummy, yummy burrito. There you go. Yummy breakfast burritos made with turkey. Served with some salsa. You can have milk if you'd like or juice or just water. Or If you're a Coke drinker, you can have Coke, Diet Coke, whatever you like. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Mm. If you like this recipe, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our awesome recipes. Today we're going to make... What's it called? Um, a turkey bowl. Yes. So today we're going to make turkey bowls. So it'll be very similar to the KFC chicken bowl, but we're going to use turkey. And obviously it's not going to be breaded and fried, but Coco just said, dang. But it's going to be delicious. So let's do this. All right. So the first thing that we're gonna put in the bowl is mashed potatoes. So we'll put those in the bottom of the bowl. It's gonna be so good. I'm glad you suggested this, Cody. It's gonna be yummy. I've never made it before. I just know what goes in the chicken bowl. So just building up the potatoes in the middle and then put all the stuff around it. What's after the potatoes, Cody? Is it turkey? Yeah. Okay. And then I've got some uh, breast meat of the turkey. And we will just put that on top here. Just divide what I've got here, which is probably about a cup or so between the, the three of us. Ah. All right, and then what's after the turkey? Is it cheese or corn? Cheese. All right, so I guess it really doesn't matter, but she's telling me how to do it, so we're going to do the way she says. So then you put a little cheese on top of that. I may have put too many potatoes, but once you get the cheese in all of them, corn. then you add some corn. I don't know how much I put a lot of potatoes, so I'm just going to put like maybe a spoon and a half there. I guess if they want more corn, they can come back and get some more. Because I put a lot of potatoes in the bowl, and it's kind of full. All right. After the corn, it's the gravy. We use just a... A turkey gravy packet. Um, bought quite a few of those on our last grocery trip because we like to make shepherd's pie and 
lots of things like that with gravy. So then you just put the gravy on the top, just like that. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. There's so many things you can do with turkey besides just having turkey and stuffing. People just don't think about all the different ways you can use it. So hopefully this gives you guys lots of ideas. If you think of any other ones, please comment down below. So what did your meter say? 319. And the CGM said 320. That's crazy. Four now. Oh, because it's going up. So did you do a correction? Not yet. That's crazy that they're that close. It was 320. That's insane. Well, what were did you eat anything when you were doing the puzzle? And, no, I didn't. I don't remember what it was, but you ate something just a little bit ago. Yeah, you're not at the table. Well, what either. did you eat? I ate two star Smarties. Two, like, sticks of Smarties? <laughs> well, that's 30 carbs right there. <laughs> no, but, there was something else, too. I can't remember what it was. But maybe it was just the candy. Well... Dose for the candy and then correct. And if you can remember anything else you ate that didn't dose for. Okay. And then All right. I'm ready for this. Um, that bowl is probably 50 carbs. That's a guess. It's mostly mashed potatoes and corn and gravy. The only thing that you don't dose for is the turkey and the cheese. So yeah, it's probably 50. It might even be a little bit more. You may have to correct again later, but. Just go for 50. I'd rather have you not drop low. Okay. All right. Well, I'm glad you like the turkey bowl. Yummy, yummy. Do you make another one of these? Another time. Next time we have turkey. Okay. Okay. For dinner, we are going to make turkey noodle soup. So the first thing I'm going to put into my crock pot is garbanzo beans. This is just about a can. Been rinsed. And we will mash those up. Okay, once you've got them mashed, you'll add about a half a cup of turkey. Chopped up. Next, you'll add a can of chicken broth, or you can make chicken bouillon if that's what you have. This is what I have. And then fill the can with water, and go ahead and add that also. All right. Then I'm going to add half of this can, so about two ounces of diced green chili. And I'll save the other half for another meal. There we go. It's going to be so good. I'm going to add some garlic powder. Some black pepper. Some salt. I don't measure anything, I just taste it when it's done. And then a little bit of ground cumin and some minced onion. You could put fresh onion in here, but I'm going to save that for a breakfast. This is really good in soups. All right, then I'm going to let it cook on high for a few hours, and then I will come back and we'll add the rest of the ingredients. All right, I totally forgot to add the vegetables. So I've got a half a can of carrots diced up. We're just going to add those in there. And then, yeah, now we'll let this cook, and we'll come back in a little bit and add the rest of the ingredients. All right, so our turkey soup is done. It's been simmering most of the day. Looks so good, smells so good. So now... We've just got to do the noodles. I cooked some penny pasta separately, and I'm going to go ahead and put that in the bowls. I'm going to put the pasta in the bowl, and then I will put the turkey soup over the noodles. It's going to be so yummy. Mmm, that looks so good. My goodness, it smells so good. 
There you go. Turkey noodle soup. Mm -mm -mm. And there you go. Our yummy dinner. Turkey noodle soup. Some peaches with cottage cheese and a nice glass of water. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you turn on notifications so you can see the next thing we make with this yummy turkey. Thanks for watching.